Hey, good afternoon. It's Jim from JagFX.com. It is Wednesday, the 20th of May, 2020. It is 4.18 p.m. local here in Da Nang, Vietnam. This is a look at my 12-hour high probability charts. The new candle was 19 or 18 minutes ago at 4 p.m. Now, I'll just go over a few things. This will include things that I did this morning that didn't re really require a video, so... We'll have a look at the chart. So let's go to my, here's my watch list here. This is trading view on the right to all the pairs I'm trading. Uh, the ones highlighted in blue, ones I've got trades on. The ones highlighted in orange are what I'm going to discuss in the video. And the ones without highlight are the ones I have got no trades on. So we'll start top of the list. I've just got to find my notes here. It's all over the place. Um, Aussie, New Zealand. Now, I was in a buy here, had a stop in place. Now buys are designated by the blue vertical dash lines and the solid blue horizontal line. Had a stop in here. I'd taken the sell, sells are the, obviously the red lines. This had come down, taken out my stop on the buy. So that's no longer in place, so I can delete them. I just leave the um, lines on the chart so you can see where the trades were. So that was stopped out. So that buy is gone. So that just leaves me with a one sell on. Uh, that gave me a profit of $6.98, and that's been added to the profit to date here. So I've just got the one sell trade on, and you can pause the video, slow the video down, read my notes with regards to what I got left on there. Uh, if you see red lines like this, trend lines, normally signifies bearish divergence. So this green line down here is parity 1.00, so it's a big number. So I've just in the one cell, all these trades are recorded on a shared spreadsheet. There's, it's a um, The link to that spreadsheet is in the description of this video. Everyone's more than welcome to check that out. Like everyone's more than welcome to join my Facebook group, etc. Uh, that's where I call all the daily trades, etc. So that's... Um, so this is my setup, just got the three MAs, the 50 EMA, 100 EMA and 240 LMA. They just give me no idea which way trend's going, nothing else. This QMP filter is these red and green dots on the price chart. All they are is a combination of the dots on the MACD Platinum, which is just a zero lag MACD, and another indicator which is not displayed called the QQE Advanced. So when the QQE advance and the MACD Platinum's in sync, it creates these dots on the price chart. Now the MACD Platinum, as I said, is just a zero lag MACD. When it's above the zero level, I'm looking to sell. When it's below the zero level, I'm looking to buy. That's a zero level here, this gray dotted line. All right, moving right along. Pound, yen. Um, basically, I was initially in this sell trade here. This happened earlier and I stopped out at the stop there. And then I was in a, also in a buy, a hedge sell, a second buy. This is my overall break even level. And because that last candle, the MACD platinum through the zero level, it's a high risk into a downward trend. I closed all trades. So all trades on the pound Yen have been closed, so on the initial sell, there was a profit of $6.30, and on those three other trades, there's a profit of $29.46. That's been added to the total here. Once I finish this video, I'll remove all these lines. There's no trades on the pound yen. So all trades, the initial sell was stopped out, and sequence two was just closed out by me. I could have got a little bit creative and probably did a partial close on Close these original buy, buy, hedge sell, and partial close here. There's not much wiggle room there, and it's why bother? It's in a downtrend, and there's big news, I think, tonight on the pound pair. So if it goes up, so be it. I'll just look for another sell. So that's the pound yen, all trades closed. New Zealand CAD. Uh, in a, it's just one of my trades stopped out. This sell up here. Again, I've just left it on the chart for you to see. The sell, stop in place, being stopped out. So it's no longer in place. So I can delete that. Made a massive, massive 20 cents on that. <laughs> yeah, not much. So, But it uh, wasn't a loss. So that's been added to the um, 
profit to date, $195.06 there. So now we're just in a buy on this pair. And not looking too bad, not exactly setting the world on fire. All right, and finally, USD, Japanese Yen. All right, this morning I just took a hedge buy on this. Uh, already in a sell here. Not a great signal, but there was hidden bearish divergence. And there was a new buy signal here. MACD platinum still above the zero level. And because I don't go in with a stop on these um, hidden bearish divergence trades, I will take a hedge buy to protect my position. So I'm locking in a loss between this sell and this high. MACD platinum is above the zero level. So at the moment, break even, not applicable as hedged. Now what I'm looking for is price maybe to head up again and fall down. With the MACD platinum go up and fall down, then I'll look for taking a second sell trade and get myself out of these two trades. With a, That second trade will be a, lot, a slightly larger position size. So that's it. Not a very exciting day on the 12-hour charts as the markets tend to go a little bit sideways on most pairs. There was one other pair I was looking at. Um, I think it was... Yeah, I'm seriously considering closing all these trades here. Oh, at least closing sequence one. This is a Swiss franc Japanese yen, so don't be surprised. I've, got, I've just got to tidy up some daily charts from this morning because I had no electricity or Wi-Fi for about eight hours plus. Um, so sequence one here um, commenced here with a buy, and the overall break in for that sequence is at one triple uh, triple one one three two, which is the bottom yellow line. We're through that now, well and truly, and the MACD platinum's well above the zero level, so the smart thing to do would be to close out uh, all of that sequence, or at least have a look at maybe on the last trade, uh, the fourth buy, I may be able to get away with leaving a partial trade on and then putting a stop in place for this. Um, I'll have a look at that after the video. Don't be surprised if you see this as closed in tomorrow's video sometime. Just give you a bit of a heads up. That's a Swiss franc Japanese yen. It's going up nicely. I did look at it a little bit about half an hour earlier and I was considering it, but now it's popped up even higher, which is good. So that's it for the video, guys. Like I said, it's the results are recorded in the shared spreadsheet. The link to that's in the description of the video. If you do like the videos, please hit the subscribe button. If nothing else, hit the like button and I will chat to you guys later. Thank you.